Okay, so first of all, I have here a correlation table and I want to add asterisks to this table to show which correlations are significant. So I want to add one asterisk to any correlations that have a p-value of less than 0 0.05 and two asterisks to any correlation with a p-value of less than 0 0.01. So in order to do this, I'm going to need to know how big the correlation needs to be in order to get these p-values. And an additional piece of information I need to work this out is the number of data points these correlations are based on. So in my case, the number of data points is 23. So that means n is equal to 23. And I want to use this to work out the R critical value. So all of these correlations are R values and the critical value is like the cutoff point for the correlation. And I also have the alpha values here, which are 0 0.05 and 0 0.01. And the formula I'm going to use to calculate the R critical value is this formula down here. So equals T dot INV, 1 minus the alpha value, divided by 2. And the divided by 2 part is because it's a two-tailed test and then comma and n, which is 23 minus 2, and close brackets and divided by the square root of t dot inv, 1 minus the alpha, divided by 2, comma, and then n, which is 23 minus 2 and close brackets, and then to the power of 2 plus n, which is 23 minus 2, and then close brackets and enter. And this is the R critical value for an alpha of 0 0.05. And if I drag this down, I will also get the value for 0 0.01. So these are the correlations that I need in order for them to be statistically significant. I'm then going to use these numbers to add some conditional formatting to my table. So select all of the numbers and go to conditional formatting and new rule and format only cells that contain and cell values between this number here and this number here. And then add some formatting to this. And we're going to change the number formatting to a custom number formatting. And the first thing I want to do is to get rid of all of these extra decimal places here. So I'm going to do 0 0.000 for three decimal places. If you want two decimal places, you can just delete one of these zeros. And if you don't want the leading zero here, you can also get rid of that. Then I want to add in the asterisks, and I need to put this in quotation marks. So quotation marks, then asterisks, then close quotation marks. And then when the custom formatting is applied, you won't see the quotation marks. And OK, and OK again. And now you can see some of the correlations have an asterisk after them. And these are the correlations that are significant at the 0.05 value, but not at the 0.01 level. Now I'm going to add another conditional formatting rule for format only cells that contain values between this value and 1, because 1 is the largest a correlation can be and we'll format it and change the number formatting and it will again be 0 0.000 but this time inside the quotation marks there'll be two asterisks and then close quotation marks and OK and OK again. And now we can see all of the correlations that have two stars after them 
these are the ones that have a p-value of less than 0.01 because the bigger the correlation gets, the smaller the p-value gets. Now we can see that there's an issue with this because the numbers aren't lining up correctly. And that's because we've now added some extra stuff onto the end of some of the numbers so they are no longer centrized in the same place. In order to fix this, we're going to select the table again and then edit the conditional formatting rules. So edit the rule that just has one asterisk and change the formatting. And instead of having just one asterisk here, we're going to add a couple of spaces after it because a couple of spaces is about the same size as one star. And OK, and OK again, and OK. And now you can see they are slightly more lined up, but there's still an issue with all of the correlations that aren't statistically significant, that don't have any stars after them. So we're going to add another conditional formatting rule to fix this. So new rule and format only cells that contain values between zero and this value here. And we're going to format this and change the number formatting to 0, 0.000 and then this time inside the quotation marks it's just going to be four spaces one two three four and then close quotation marks and okay and okay and now you can see all of the numbers are lined up correctly now if you have negative correlations as well you will need to take the r critical value and times it by minus one and then use these numbers to apply two more additional conditional formatting rules for the correlations that you have which are negative and statistically significant. And if you have any questions about the statistics part of all of this, I will leave some links in the description. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to add asterisks to show the significance in a correlation table in Excel. And that is everything.